All right, so the idler lab, according to the photos, it's a few more parts than the first lab. I got started already. Added on my three bushings on the front, three on the back, and we're ready to go for the next part. Um, it says he wants a 36 to 60 to 36 set wheels. So I'm going to kind of build those and install them. I'm going to add on things in a more efficient manner this time. I'm going to put on the axle collars first. Then throw it through the gear. Or not. Ah, other side. Then throw it through the hole. Put the back collar on. Okay, same here too. Collar on, third axle collar on. Um, it's called an idler lab because we have one driver gear, one driven gear, and one gear in between that kind of just transfers the spinning from one to the next. So this jobs is kind of just take whatever the driven says and transfer it to the driver. So it's kind of like the uh, the middleman in a business transaction, in which you have the supplier, the buyer, and the middleman is the one that kind of marks up the price once in a while. So there we have all three on there. Ready? Let me adjust this one. This being my driver, need a little bit more room for that handle to plug in. So collar front, collar back, you're locked on ready. So now we have one driver gear. And one driven gear. So the driver spins, the driven driven spins. So I turn the back so you can see it. So if I spin the driver, the idler gear takes whatever it's doing and transfers it to the next gear down the line. So all the idler is, is a transferer of direction. But notice now that I'm spinning this driver in a clockwise fashion. The driven gear goes opposite. Sorry, idler was opposite. Driver clockwise, idler opposite, driven the exact same way. So the gear issue here is 36 and 36. It's driven over driver, driven over driver. So solve that one. Then we got lab part two coming up here. Hold on. So part two asks for four different gears. 60, 36, 12, and 84. Driver gear, two idler gears, and one driven gear. Um, they won't fit in this configuration. So I do a little bit of editing to have this work. And I'll kind of do a little fixing, and I'll pause and unpause as we go here. So these are going to come off. That's more than kindergarten type. Right, first grader type. Right, Pre-built all my axles with the collars on them. My driver will give a little bit of room for the handle. This is my driver. He plugs in first. He'll plug in here. Next goes the 36 tooth gear. I'll get that guy ready. It's got to go in right here. So, kind of just um, use 
use the gears to figure out where the bushings go. So I don't really know where the holes line up. Um, so you line up the gears. Again, right to tight, left to loosen, tighten those later. So 36 will now fit where it needs to go. Then goes a 12 tooth gear. It's got to go right at the end. So I'm going to put that one there. Vertical. So I only need that one small spot for that to plug into. So rather than go horizontal, I'll run that one vertical. Bolt that guy on. You can always use two uh, machine screws that keeps the bushing held flat to the plate. Teeth go to the plate to bite on. Preload the 12. Now we got these. Last goes 84. That has to go right there. So throw that guy on. Bolt it on. And then just to keep the video faster, I'm not going to put the back bushings on. But um, when you guys build this, put back bushings on. All those parts. And it's going to go hand tight, not kindergarten tight, just to keep the faster little video. And goes. Doo -doo -doo, that's fine. Now we have the driver gear, spins them all. Let me uh, adjust this one a little bit. Try that again. Driver spins them all. So the trick is now is to figure out what's the gear ratio based on the setup. One driver, two idlers, one driven. Okay, so the driver I'm gonna spin, get the back on it so you can see it. Handle back on it. Let's spin the driver in a clockwise direction. Which direction is the driven gear and spear spin? Clockwise driver gives you a what driven? Clockwise driver, what's my driven speed? Driven direction. So clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. So it's like an even number of idlers, I switch directions. Odd, I have the same, even, different. Here's my numbers, 36, sorry, 60, 84, 60, 84. So figure it out, the gear ratio, 84 over 60, and reduce. Hey, good luck.